In NACSport, collecting data for analysis is known as registering. You might also have heard the terms coding, tagging or observation. All of these are interchangeable. There are three different methods for registering your video clips and data. Registration from file, which consists of collecting data on your computer from an existing video. Real-time registration consists of video capture and data collection while the event is being played live. And lastly, and the method we're going to concentrate on in this video, registration without a video file, which is similar to registration from file, except that the game is registered live and the video synchronized at a later time. As the data collection process is almost identical to that of registering from file, we especially recommend that you take a look at that video, as it will cover the mechanical process of registering a game in much greater detail. In this video, we'll concentrate on giving you some examples of when you would use this option, and also we'll explain the process of registering in periods of time, and how to sync up a video after the game has ended. There are a few scenarios where you would register a game without a video source. The most obvious of these is that you simply don't have a video source available yet, but you know that a video will be available later. During a training session that's being filmed from the sideline, or even from a drone, for example. Register live and link the video later. Opposition analysts might use this option. They'll sit in the stands registering a match and get the video footage such as a recorded television broadcast later. You may simply not want or need video, just the numerical data which can be viewed in Naxport's analytical tools such as the data matrix or dashboards or exported to Excel for use in third-party software. Okay, let's take a look at how we go about registering without a video source. First, click on this icon in the main menu to open this environment. This box appears where you can assign a name to your analysis. The default name contains the current date and time. Choose the name you want, then click Accept. The toolbar opens along with the last used template. If you want to use a different template, click on this icon and open the one you want. Alternatively, you can right-click this icon and a list of the 15 last used templates opens. Apart from this, the options on the template and in the toolbar are almost identical to those found in the register from file environment. When clicked, all your categories and descriptors will appear here in the play-by-play -play table. Here you have the options for opening the dynamic timeline, dashboards and data matrix. Next to this are the options for live streaming your analysis and the configuration menu. And here are the options for filtering your categories. Refreshing the play-by-play -play table, etc. Again, please check the Register from File tutorial for more information on all of these options. The link is in the description. Let's concentrate on what's new in this section. The most important new feature that you'll find in this section is this green button in the top left hand corner, which at the moment reads Click Start 1. This button allows you to set a time reference, which can be used to synchronise the video later. In football, for example, you'll have two periods of 45 minutes to analyse. The footage you get may include the break, which is irrelevant to your analysis. You need to synchronise the video so that your analysis only covers the periods when the ball is in play. And this is where you use this button. When the first half starts, click this button, which turns red. This signifies that you are registering within this first period. When the first half ends, click this button again. It turns green signifying that you're not registering at this moment and, in fact, if you click any button on the template, you will be prohibited from adding a register. Now, when the second half kicks off, you click this button again. It turns red and you register this period of play. At the full time whistle, click the button again and registration is again disabled. Okay, 
Let's look at how this is useful when syncing your video. To end the registration phase, click on the stop button, accept and return to the main menu. Now, from here, go to the options menu and select tools and then synchronize analysis with video. Choose the analysis data you want to synchronize to the video. Now choose the video you want to use and this window will open. In the right column, you can see the periods that you've just registered. Click on the first period and, since we've used the kickoff as our synchronization point, we move the video to the moment of the kickoff and click Synchronize. We repeat the same process for the second period. And that's it. The video and analysis are completely synchronized. You can now open it on the timeline. It's important to note that you're not limited to two periods when registering. You can have as many as you need. Four for each quarter in basketball, for example. Again, for more information on the other options in this environment, please check out the register from file video, which can be found in the description. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.